Lettering is a huge part of embroidery, from monograms to names to the names of the companies that you're embroidering for. You've got a lot of options to choose from. Design Shop can use TrueType, it can use OpenType, it's got embroidery alphabets, it's got embroidery monograms. In Design Shop, we can look at how to find the perfect embroidery alphabet or font for your job. Here I have several examples of the types of fonts or alphabets that Design Shop can use. When you select a lettering element, the alphabet dropdown becomes available. The same thing when you select the lettering input method, the dropdown becomes available, and it's going to be the same if you're looking at it in the object properties box. Uh, when I select this dropdown, I get lots of categories. Um, and those are going to be mostly stylistic categories of, of what do the alphabets or fonts look like. But inside of these, you will get different icons for the type of alphabet or font that they are. So here I have some stars. If I scroll down, I've got some caution signs. Let me continue to scroll down. Let's look at the monogram. And under the monogram category, I see these stars. I see a circular M. And I see that caution sign again. And then if I go to the true type, I'll see lots of TTs, but I'll also see some O's. So what do these icons really mean? What are they? So the first one that I want to look at is this star icon, and that's going to be what basic block is. So if I select this lettering element, I've, I've made all the type be the name of that alphabet or font. So I've got basic block here. If you see up in the alphabet dropdown, it says basic block. It's got that star. I just have artwork to the left to represent what you'd see in that dropdown. Basic block is, uh, it's an embroidery alphabet. And if I see one of those alphabets with a star, it means it was digitized by a digitizer. It is meant to be embroidery. If I look at the preview of one of these, so here we have the preview for basic block. We have a suggested minimum, a suggested maximum, and then you, you can see a preview of all the different characters that, that make that up. All right, so that is uh, one of those star alphabets. Um, and those are, again, newer tools. They have uh, been done fairly recently, either in this version or in a relatively recent version of software. Some of the earlier embroidery alphabets were done with older tools. Um, and those are going to look something like this, where you have this caution sign. So you can see Melko Block. You've got that caution sign. Uh, the reason it has a caution sign, it ha it's done with older software. It's done with older tools. Um, will it work as well for you as one of the start alphabets? Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, typically the starred ones are going to work a little bit better for you than the ones with the caution sign, but the ones with the caution sign still are embroidery alphabets and they were meant for embroidery. Below that, we're going to get into true types. So true types, were they meant to be embroidery? No. Um, we've got true types and we've got below that open type and that's what that O is. So true types and open types are both fonts that are loaded onto your PC. They're loaded in the fonts folder and you can use them with, you know, a word processor or a graphics program. They can also be used in design shop. So here I have Georgia. It's a nice little true type that was, uh, designed by Matthew Carter. Um, was it designed for embroidery? No. Will it work for embroidery? Maybe. I'm going to give it a shot, see if it works for me. If it doesn't, I may need to edit it. So that's where I tend to be with my true types and my open types. I'm going to give it a shot. The shapes are all there. It's kind of auto-digitized. Does it work? Yes, no, maybe. I'm going to sew it out, see how it looks, and if I need to edit it, then I can. But at least I'm not starting from scratch. Now, with true types, if I have the weights available, um, I can modify them just like I could in a word processor. So if I wanted bold, I could click on the B and it would be bold. If I wanted italicized, I could make it italicized. Right now I've got both active. I'm going to turn off the bold and now I have just italicized. 
And if I turn off italicized, I'm back to the way that I was. So that's true type and open type. Now the difference between true type and open type, true type's been around for quite a while. Open type is a little bit newer. And what open type, which is what this adorn uh, pomander is, and this was done by type designer Laura Worthington. And what Laura did was add alternates. So this has the ability to have alternates in it. And that's what that O uh, for the open type means is it's an open type font. I can have alternates, I can have ligatures. So uh, if I wanted an extra little swoosh on my N, if the type designer added that in there, this particular font may have you know, 14, 15 different lowercase ends, and you can choose which splash you want coming off the end of it. Or um, some of them may have a, a ligature. So if you have a lowercase f and a lowercase t together, they may have that crossbar go between uh, both of them and just replace the two individual characters with this one kind of glyph. So that's what an open type is. And then Below that, we also have a monogram. So we saw that there were stars and there were uh, the M's in monograms. The big difference in these, um, the stars, typically they're just going to be a single letter. I can spell them out, but it's meant more for a single letter type application. Um, so this is filigree. You can see it's three color filigree. It's got three different colors in it. But yeah, it's really only meant to be one letter. But if I if I type, I can space them all out. The ones that have the circle with the M, these monograms, these are shaped monograms. So they will change shape as you type. So if you have one letter or two letter, they may change and they can have different borders associated with them. So that's what this icon is. And those are new. There may be some old three letter monograms and they may have this caution sign. The newer ones have this shaped M. So those are kind of your big alphabet or font types. There is one other font type you may see. Uh, if you choose to go in with the alphabet editor and edit uh, your own true type, you can you can say, you know, I'm, I'm using this as my base, but I want my edits to stay. That can be a true type modified. And you can do that with the alphabet editor, and then it will have actually a little M beside it. So you may see these other options here. You may see a TTM, or you may see a monogram that has this caution sign, and that's going to be one of the older ones. So lots of options for you to get uh, different typefaces with your software, but that's going to give you kind of an idea of what they are and how to use them.